Gold Circle was a discount department store chain that opened in 1968 and closed in 1988. Welcome back to my channel. If you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button and notification bell so you get notified of my latest video. Please hit that like button, leave a comment or a suggestion. You might see that in a future video. Thanks for watching and now back to a regular scheduled program. Shopping can be hectic. So much to do. Which way to turn? But there is a store with the best selection and low prices every day. It's Gold Circle, where every toy in stock is now 20% off, including Fisher Price, Lego, and Milton Bradley. Baby Talk is now $55.99. Flex Trucks just $19.99. And Mask Thunderhawk only $10.39. Save 20% on the entire stock of toys now at Gold Circle, the amazing Christmas store. Federated department stores wanted to get into the mass merchandising market during the 1960s. The company already owned Bullock's, I Magnin, Foley's, Feline's, as well as Bloomingdale's. Federated created Gold Circle discount stores in 1968. The Gold Circle chain totaled five stores in Columbus and Dayton at the end of the decade. Gold Circle promoted itself as a more upscale retailer with wide aisles and sparkling, sprawling, supersized stores that carried nothing but quality merchandise. Former customers and employees remember Gold Circle as a prime go-to spot for hot ticket toys of the era, as during the time of the Cabbage Patch Kids craze. Gold Circle did have its share of controversy. In 1975, when they advertised, the man of the house may be the one that brings home the paycheck, but Gold Circle Stores recognizes that it's usually the woman who spends most of it, wrote a reporter. Jim Sykes, the chain CEO, Hal W. Field, added, we try to cater to the female. Gold Circle in their commercials bragged of having nice wide aisles. A com customer once commented, It didn't take long before they were crowded like all the discount stores, but I liked Gold Circle. It was something new. Another customer commented about buying NFL t-shirts, hats, and aluminum softball bat, much cheaper than at a sporting goods store. Another former customer once said, I remember the smell of the popcorn and the pretzels when you walked into the door. So what do you remember about Gold Circle? Do you have any fond memories? Leave a comment at the bottom. In 1984, Gold Circle was notable as the first major discounter to implement the chain-wide UPC barcode scanning in an effort to reduce checkout time for customers and improve inventory accuracy and speed store merchandise replenishment. Like most retailers, Gold Circle tended to the in-demand trends of the times. In late 1983, that meant Cabbage Patch Kids, a line of soft sculpted dolls that sold like gangbusters. The nation went gaga for Cabbage Patch Kids. Stores couldn't keep them in stock. Gold Circle did its best to meet the demand here. Gold Circle officials were issuing numbered file cards to each shopper who qualified them to buy a doll. Shoppers quickly snatched up the entire stock of almost 1,000 Cabbage Patch Kids. In 1986, Federated merged its Gold Circle division with its Richway department stores, another Federated discount division. While the chains each continued to operate under their own original names, though several Richways were converted to Gold Circles, buying and other administrative functions for both were consolidated into Gold Circles Worthington, Ohio headquarters. After Campau Corporation acquired Federated department stores in 1988, Gold Circle was liquidated along with Richway. Gold Circle had grown to 76 locations in Ohio, Pennsylvania, Kentucky, and Western New York State. The Compound Corporation sold its 76 Gold Circle stores to the Kimco Development Corporation, a privately held developer. Kimco paid $325 million for the Gold Circle stores and a few Richway stores as well. 
Uh, in turn, Kimco then sold 31 stores to Target and leased 35 other stores to the Hills department store chain. Gold Circle stores were gone for good. Hey, if you just watched my video, thanks for watching. Hit that like button and please subscribe to Eric C. Productions.